Okay, I'm just going to bite this. Anyhow, okay, I am back for this evening's live stream. It's raining here, and I do like rain. It's a little bit cold. That's okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'll fix it later. It's a little bit cold right now. I don't know what the temperature is. Let's check the temperature. I'm gonna say 45. Oh, it's 62. <laughs> it's 62, it feels cold. <laughs> wow, it feels much colder than 62. Okay, I'll stop complaining now. First person here is Anna for general. Pretty good. You have negativity moves into the past. Life comes into balance. Old wounds are on the uh, old wounds are healing and moving forward is on the horizon. You may be reconnecting with somebody from your past, or you could run into someone who you haven't seen in a while. Listen to your intuition, and a Leo enters. Feeling grounded and stable, finances seem to be improving, and you may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Miss S, general. Teamwork is favored around work, school, or business. Success comes in. You could be planning travel, possibly a road trip, and you have some money com coming your way. Listen to your intuition. You have a Leo and Pisces that enter. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past, and you're no longer holding yourself back, and life is beginning to move forward. It looks pretty good. Alpha general. You've got cause for celebration that comes in around spending time with the fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries and a new journey may begin. Or you can be doing something out of the blue, fun and exciting. Listen to your intuition. New beginnings are on the horizon. You could have good news come in around work, school or business. Whatever you do all day, a wish comes true. Finances are improving. Money comes in and you may... Be paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan. Beautiful one for tomorrow. Beautiful one for tomorrow. Making decisions that push your life forward. You got good luck coming in or luck changes for you for the better quickly. You may be feeling a little bit more grounded and stable around work, school, or business. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Life comes into balance and something nice may happen around the home. Moving homes, changing homes, upgrading your home, whatever it is would be positive. Money comes in or news of money comes in. And somebody may make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. Tibet, me and M's side hustle. Me and M's side hustle. You've got um, a new beginning on the horizon and you could get good news around the side hustle. Putting in time and effort comes back and pays off. You listen to your intuition. Things move forward slow and steady, but on solid ground. Somebody can make you an offer that would be hard to turn down around a side business, side project, side hustle. No longer holding yourself to success. It may take time. It may not happen overnight, but things should be moving forward. Tiffany, messages from Tarot. Okay, you've got the weight of the world slips off your shoulders and life begins to move forward. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Life comes into balance. Money comes in. Take 
Time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Spending time with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. No longer looking back on the past. You've got a Capricorn coming in. Weight of the world slips off your shoulders and cause for celebration comes in around love heating up. Miss S, what's James' true feelings towards me? May have a lot of respect for you. May find you to be grounded and stable, kind-hearted, caring, fun to be around, pleasant, attractive, unique, creative, and intuitive. Intriguing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mihak General. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready and listen to your intuition. Weight of the world slips off your shoulders and life moves forward. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Negativity moves into the past. You could have money coming in, maybe paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan, and old wounds are healing and moving into the past. Dakota, general for this week. Spending time with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Anxiety is easing and moving into the past, and you're listening to your intuition. Perseverance pays off around work, school, or business, and with the magician, you have the ability to manifest a new opportunity or new opportunities when it comes to love and romance. Romance could be heating up this week, and you're feeling a little bit more financially stable. Cause for celebration comes in around finances. Jamila, how does C think of us hanging out together? last night. How does he think of us hanging out together last night? Good. May have, may have thought that it was a good time. Grounded, down to earth, pleasant. Looks like it went well. Um, Ina, AC Pisces contacted me first today. It was normal. I'm glad he's not freaked out. Is there a favorable time coming up for our stronger bonding? There's communication that's coming in, yeah, um, over the next couple of weeks. But I, I, I don't know exactly what you mean by, like, stronger bonding. It doesn't look like there's... It doesn't look like a deep connection or like a connection is deepening. There could be communication. There could be spending time together, but it looks like it's kind of like surface. It could possibly be like a hookup situation. Possibly. Um, I'm going to say right now there's communication coming in and you could be seeing one another. Unbreakable general. Lay down the law, set boundaries, especially especially if you feel as if somebody is overstepping. Old wounds heal and move into the past. You've got the fool, which is a new journey on the horizon, and you're no longer holding yourself back. Success comes in around work, school, or business, and with the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities to bring in success around work, school, or business. Dana, will I see Taurus and Gemini again soon? I think before the spring ends, you should see them again. Hi, Mel. Uh, and how is Christopher feeling towards me today? May find you to be stable, grounded. Kind-hearted, strong, perseverant, um, like a, a loyal friend or somebody who's dependable. Pretty good. Miss Billy, Kay's intentions with me.
wands can indicate that there may be a long road ahead of you. Uh, there is communication here, but other than that, I don't see any specific intentions at this point. Shania, will DJ be able to visit you within the next two weeks or sooner? It's possible in two weeks, but I don't think it would be sooner. Energy is kind of low around the situation or kind of stagnant. Yeah, energy around Jay saying... I know what I did in the past. I'm trying to correct it. Well, okay. The thing is, is that people always talk about fixing, right? You can't fix something. Once it's broken, it's broken. So once you've done something, you can't go back and undo it. You know, if I say, if I say to somebody, I fucking hate your guts, I hate everything about you, you can't take that back. You can say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, but you said it, right? You said it, and I can't unhear it. I can't unhear it, I can't unsee it. So his energy is almost a little bit of like frustration because he knows that whatever happened in the past, he's responsible for it. So he is taking responsibility for it, which is good. It's really good. The thing is, is that There's nothing that he's going to be able to do to fix what happened in the past. So it comes to the point where you're in this situation where you have to make a decision. Either you forget about the past like and pretend like it never happened and move forward, or you end the relationship. But the past keep can't keep coming back into the current relationship because it's going, it's going to be the same fight over and over again. And he can't fix it. And if you can't forget about it, then we're not going anywhere. So the energy around the situation is a combination of like feeling sorry and regretful and also feeling frustrated. Is it his own fault? Yes. But there's nothing... Like this, you know, are we going to fix things? You know, nobody fixes anything. You can make a decision to move forward and forget about what happened in the past. Or you can say, you know what? I'm just not getting past it. I can't go on. It, that's for you to decide. But his energy is like, it's kind of a little bit mixed. He feels a little bit bad about what happened. May feel responsible and regretful, but yet frustrated because there's nothing. You can't undo what's been done. Rhea, I have a very important meeting today. How will my meeting go and how will everyone like my presentation? Avery, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Don't make me tell you again. Should go well. You've got growth, change, and transformation, mutual respect, and feeling grounded and stable. Success comes in. It should go well. Maggie, general for Wednesday. Avery, if I have to get up, I'm putting you in your room. I'm telling you right now. Leave him alone. Wednesday looks good. A dis disappointment heals and moves into the past. You may be thinking about going back to school or learning a new area of study. A wish comes true. With the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities that lead to success on Wednesday. Stephanie for this week. This week looks pretty good. You've got money coming in. You're feeling a little bit of relief around finances improving. You could be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You may be paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan. Listen to your intuition. New beginnings are on the horizon. Anna. Yars, true feelings for me. I dreamt of him last night. You might find you to be creative and unique, strong, confident, independent, hardworking, and successful, down-to-earth, stable, kind-hearted. Pretty good. Uh, Lily, is H thinking of ways to fix things between us? Here we go again with the fixing. You can't fix things. Things cannot be fixed. 
he shows right now as being undecided. He shows his indecision. So it could be that he's at a point where he's feeling like, I don't know what to do. But there's nothing. Like, say somebody cheats. What, like, what's he going to do to fix that? Buy you a piece of jewelry? Doesn't fix it. Like, there's nothing that you can do to fix something that was done in the past. The only thing you can do is forget about it and move forward. And... Unfortunately, a lot of people have a hard time. They say that they're going to let the past go, but they don't. And it keeps coming back up, and it's the same argument over and over again. Yeah, I don't think he's thinking about fix it. It's a way to fix things because there's nothing that he can do. But I think he is undecided about what he should do or where the situation is going or whatever, whatever the circumstance is. Susie, T and I, I haven't heard back from him yet today. What to expect with him? You'll hear from him soon. Communication comes in quick. If it's not today, it may be over the next couple of days. And then you may be seeing each other soon. Spending time together, things move forward slow and steady, wins the race. But it looks like it's pretty mutual, well-balanced. Lose, general. You, <clears throat> you have a wish come true around things moving forward around your career. And then you've got, if you've had an argument or a disagreement with someone, it should resolve itself and move into the past. You have teamwork is favored. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past. Life is coming into balance. A disappointment heals and moves into the past, and life is moving forward. Something should happen that makes you happy with the sun. Avery, how many times? How many times? I do not want to hear you messing around with him. Leave him alone. Kevin, general. Feeling ambitious, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to, and you got choices and options that come in around social activity. Could be spending time with the water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but Scorpio and Cancer come up strongest. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Empress is bringing in love and money or more of it. Lose RH's actions towards me. You've got um, something happens around this situation that could push things forward quickly. Happiness comes in around a committed relationship moving forward towards stable ground successfully. A wish comes true. Looks good. It looks good. All of a sudden, things may move forward. If it's a romantic connection. If it's not, it would say it's still whatever the relationship is, there's an improvement. Lita, I'm vibrating so low and I'm... Negative energy. What do the cards say? How do I fix this and start to feel like an old self? <clears throat> well, the energy should start to shift as we move through the end of April and into the beginning of May. Listen to your intuition. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. And exploring new, like, creative hobbies or whatever. New creative hobbies, side hustles, side projects, whatever it is. Maybe an outlet that brings in some positive energy, but also like, especially if you're doing it with your hands, you may be able to work out some of that negativity. Mommy, that's weird. It's weird. You also may Mommy, find time, uh, like time in like the woods or in the earth or out in nature may be helpful as well. Mommy, especially around food trees. Died. Your phone died? I don't think it died. It was pretty well charged. Go get it for me. Go get it for me. I'll fix it. Okay. <laughs> Lily, how does H feel about us not talking? Maybe feeling a little bit disappointed because he's got the three of swords in reverse, which could be disappointment. Um, may also feel a little bit out of balance. 
I could also be feeling like maybe you guys need a little time apart. Like maybe a little bit of distance may do you well. It's kind of feeling a little bit out of balance too. Uh, I'm body, I'm yeah, it's pretty well charged. I want to be louder. What is this? Duh. It's Mr. Speed. It's your what? It's Mr. Speed. It has some silver speed on it. Okay, there you go. I want to be the song. It says love. I think I have this one. Yeah, he's a little bit like, he's a little disappointed or down, but he may feel like the two of you have a little space right now. I, I want to get You want the gummy bear song? I want to be wrapped. Okay, and I'm telling you, this is it. Wait, I'll make you change it. What? Tanya, general this week, anything good coming in? Yep. A disappointment heals and moves into the past. New beginnings are on the horizon. You've got um, feeling grounded and stable around finances. Solution to a problem is in front of you. You'll figure it out before the end of the week. Could be paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan. Choices and options come in around social activity. You could have a Virgo around. You could have a Sagittarius around. And you might be planning travel. Emin, what will happen with my recruitment at the ministry after H follow-up? Uh, decisions could get made that push the situation forward. Slow and steady wins the race, but to the next step. I don't know what it is, but it should go well and things begin to move forward. TD love for this week. Okay, uh, if, if it's been recently slow and steady, all of a sudden, things could change for the better quickly with the Eight of Wands. If you're currently with someone, things look good. They may be slow and steady, and all of a sudden, something changes this week or relatively soon. That moves things forward. If you're not with anyone, you have Fire here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Aries comes up very strong around you, and then you also have a Scorpio. Growth, change, and transformation comes in around love. Don't be afraid to express your wants and needs around um, love connections. You have a wish that comes true. There also could be a Capricorn around if you're not with anyone right now. Exploring your options could lead to success, especially if you're looking for a committed relationship. If you're looking for commitment, you could find it, some, like it, you could find yourself in one this summer if you're not with one right now. And then TG did one for Vicky. Vicky, you could send it with purple hearts. Kevin, how will the 27th go? Good. Disappointment, teal, and move into the past, and you're ready. Life is moving forward. Making decisions that push things forward. You could be planning travel. You could be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You have a new journey on the horizon, or something fun and exciting may happen. Tammy. What will my family doctor think of my emergency room visit? Will she change my BP meds because of it? Yeah, I think that she is going to change it. Yeah. Vicky, how will D perceive my text when I when read? Will he reply? I think he is going to reply. Uh, he may be confused or unsure about the text. I don't know if he questions it, he's undecided, or he doesn't know how to answer it. But he answers it, and he may say something like that. Like, I don't know what you mean, or what are you talking about, or how did you mean that? Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion around it. I don't know why. 
Was it direct and to the point or was it something that was like open to interpretation? You'll hear from him though. You should hear from him. Kevin, trying to take steps for business, I'm lost. Well, feeling ambitious, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to and you'll have choices and options around you. Um, explore your choices and options and things will move forward. Ah, things are moving forward through divine guidance. Try not to stress out around it because you do have a new side business, side hustle right here that's bringing in money. So this could start off as like a side project that turns into a business. Um, and it may be something that develops through divine guidance. Help me. Help you with what? With what? With the phone. And what do you want me to do with it? The gummy song. I'm not putting the gummy bear song on again. I am. Yo, and you, then you blew it. How are you going to do it? Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm not. Don't come in here with it again. I don't know. Fucking gummy bear. It's like, why do the songs have to be so annoying? At least now, you know what she wants to hear? Uh, Rock and Robin by the Jackson 5 in the car, which is f fine. It's so much better than this shit. I mean, of course she wants it on repeat. But every song, the Barbie song, the shark song, the gummy bear song, like you want to choke someone when you hear it. When she's at grandma's house, grandma tells her, you can listen to it three times and then that's it, we shut it off. annoying you know what but the damage is done when you've heard it three times now it's in your head for the next month essence did my dog kino and enjoy the car ride with me and my mom we got him a pup cup and a treat trying to get him more used to the car rides because he's usually scared oh dylan was afraid to get in the car when i first brought him home cyrus loves to go in the car He did like it. Yeah, I think he liked, probably liked the pup cup, too. <laughs> now, tomorrow and Wednesday, I have to teach in the morning, so I can't take him to drop Avery off. I can only take him on Friday. Avery, find something else to do. I'm not putting it on again. Avery, Avery, I am not. you're not coming in here and interrupting me every two and a half minutes to put the damn song on. I am not doing it anymore. Find something else Mommy, to watch. Buddy, you don't want to be super sad. What? I don't want you to be really sad. I don't want you to be sad, but you can't keep interrupting me. I will never get finished. Mommy, you don't, you don't want me to be sad. Who? Guys, to be sad. Don't want him. Who's going to be sad? Sorry. Gummy? He's fine. He's not sad. Look, watch this one. It's going to tell you not to eat sugar. Essence, why did Kevin call me back <laughs> to back this morning at 7 in the morning? Like, he's up at that hour, even though we're friends. He's too inconsistent, so I just told him bye. Okay. I don't think he called for any reason other than maybe looking to, like, just chit chat. He may have been up and was seeing if you were up. There was no, it was nothing like super important. Mommy. Mommy. I want to tell you something. Avery, what do you want to tell me? I don't like your stuff anymore. You don't like what? I don't like your stuff. You don't like my stuff? What stuff? Uh, I just want your snake stuff. What stuff? I your snake stuff. I don't know what you're saying. I want your snake stuff. But I don't like your stuff. You don't like my stuff? What stuff? Yours. Well, what stuff are you talking about? My back is itchy. Could you scratch it, please? Okay. No, wait, back, uh, back here, like in the middle. Go underneath it. Up higher, up higher. Go over more towards this way. Up higher. Scratch it hard. Oh my God, it's bad. Harder. Ah, <sighs> still itches. 
Lita, anything else that the cards see about anything? Weight of the world slips off your shoulders and the solution to a problem is in front of you before the end of the month, you'll figure it out. Growth, change, and transformation for the better comes in around business. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past and life begins to come back into the ba back into balance as we get towards the end of the month. You could be um, having choices and options that come in around social activity. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. I'm an energy around my studies with my current job versus the job at the ministry. Which situation is better for study work uh, situation? They both look similar. If I had to choose one over the other, I would say the one that you're at may be better only because it may be like not a new beginning. So you might not have the stress of that around it. But otherwise, I would say they look similar. The new beginning looks like it could be very positive with the ministry place. But it may be like, you know, you got to maybe learn things or meet people or there could just be a shift because it's new when you got to start new. Tanya, love for this week. For this week, you've got the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities around love. Lay down the law, set boundaries. It'll serve you well. New beginnings are on the horizon, possibly having choices and options come in. You've got a Sagittarius. Sagittarius has been showing around you a lot lately. Listen to your intuition and success could come in around love. Also with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Not bad. Not bad. I need something to scratch my back with, like for real. Avery, you didn't do a good job. You didn't do a good job, Avery. Do we have something here that's sharp? I need a back scratcher. Shall I stay or quit the current job? Okay, the cards can't make the decision for you. You have to make the decision. But the energy around you staying at your current place is a little bit stronger as of right now than it is that you're leaving. Kevin, not taking psych meds and nothing works for me. Advice. Life moves forward towards greener pastures through divine timing. Life comes into balance. Finding a creative hobby or creative expression of some type could help you deal with whatever it is that you're going through. Disappointments heal and move into the past. Physical activity also may be helpful. If you're feeling excited, don't make any decisions until you're ready. TD, is the new black family giving me the headaches? Mom, guess who it is? Guess who I don't think so. Guess no, I don't think so. Is. Who is it? Baby. You. <laughs> hmm? Very good. Looks beautiful. That's 
Constance has to bribe him to get in with some cheese. But once he got used to it, oh, the dog. He was ready for another one. <laughs> Time frame of what? Did I skip the question? I don't see the question yet, so let me go to the other list. Of when me and Libra are going to meet again, okay? When will me and Libra meet again? Okay, so there is a six around it. So if this is somebody who you see frequently or you like are they're local and you can see them frequently, you may be able to see them within the next six days. If this is somebody who is not local and you don't have that kind of a con connection with them or you can see them frequently, it may be within the next six weeks. Um, how does it go when I see A, the Aries? I don't know what to expect. It should go well. Um, it looks like good communication. It looks like things are balanced and like it may be like things, but things are going to change for the better quickly around the situation, but it may be like catching up, small talk, pleasant communication in the beginning. And then being guided by the divine things move forward towards greener pastures. Listen to your intuition and things could change fast. I think it goes well. It looks like it goes well. Rita, what is G's intentions? What is G's intentions? Um, at this point, it doesn't look like he has any specific intentions because he's showing as the hangman. So if you have specific intentions with him, I would act on it and not wait for him because he shows as indecisive and stuck. Uh, girly Sagittarius's thoughts of me. May find you to be strong, confident, hardworking, sincere, down to earth, genuinely a nice person. Anonymous, do you see me renewing my lease in September? Love my apartment. I think you will. Yeah, I think you will. Brianna, how does my date tomorrow go? How does my date tomorrow go? It should go well. You have a wish that comes true. Negativity moves into the past. Teamwork is favored and it has potential for good luck or luck to change for the better around you quickly. It should be a good time. Tammy, chaos is going on in my daughter's workplace. Will the new manager keep her on? Q, 
Yes, I think that they will. Kevin Cancer says that they want to help with my business. Yeah. That could happen. Um, okay, this is what the cards say. Life comes into balance, feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Things could move forward and money could pick up. Listen to your intuition. Slow and steady wins the race, but new business endeavors could lead to success. Just, it's just my personal opinion that I always have. I, I'm always reluctant to, to suggest that people go into business with a partner. If this person is just helping or assisting you, that's different. But I don't know. I just get like, I just always feel like partners are just not a good idea. But that's just my opinion. Lucinda for the next 48 hours. Lucinda for the next 48 hours. Disappointment will heal and move into the past. And with the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities. You have growth, change, and transformation for the better coming in around work, school, or business. And you may be feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Con, Con, does El feel bad when he was talking about me yesterday? Will he reach out? He said that I was weird because I claim my stepdad as my daddy, but my stepdad raised me and he told me about... He told me about my dad, so I cut him off. I don't think he feels bad, no. Because um, I think that he thinks, like, he was giving his opinion, and that's how we feel. So I don't think he feels bad about it. I think you'll hear from him at some point. But I agree with you. Like, if... If somebody else has raised you and somebody else has been a father to you, whether it's biological or not, I don't think it makes a difference. And I don't really feel like it's anybody else's place to tell somebody who's, who's their father or who's their mother or whoever, you know. And I know it both ways. Like I know people that were raised by another woman that wasn't their mother and vice versa. And you know what? It's a personal thing. So I don't think he feels bad because I think he feels like it's his opinion. He's entitled to it, which is true. He is. And it could be something that you just, you know, you just don't agree on. And that's fine. Bella, would helping my niece out with her car be an issue? I don't think it would be an issue. No, you seem to have good luck around it and things seem to move forward pretty quickly. Cinnamon general for tonight. Disappointments heal and move into the past. And you may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. But the Empress, you've got love and money possibly coming in, if not tonight, soon. Take time, if you can, for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Listen to your intuition. And you may be thinking about starting a new business or side project. Not bad. Con Con, right? My dad still does for me. My dad still does for me to this day. And he's kept saying, I'm sure that my dad is just not into me. And I was like, dude, you're weird. That's nasty. I know this man since I was a small child. Yeah. 
wait a minute. He was saying that your dad just isn't into you. What the hell? Look, not everybody is a good parent. You know, like sometimes people are shitty parents and then the child grows up and is an adult and then they have a better relationship with their parent as an adult. You know, like it is what it is. Like I always think it always, I always think of what the hell is his name now? I'm not going to remember. Todd Rundgren. Um, he married, I think he married her. Uh, Liv Tyler's mom. What was her name? Something. I don't remember what her name was. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Steven Tyler was her father. Like she, he was married to the woman when Liv was about to be born, Stephen was, was fucked up. Drugs, partying, you know, Aerosmith. Where, where, who knows where he was? I don't know when she was born. I think she was born in the late 70s, early 80s. And Aerosmith was pretty popular. Anyhow, so Todd, who was also a musician, he wrote that song, Hello, It's Me. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, he knew that it wasn't his child. He knew it. And there was no debate about it. But he signed the birth certificate when she was born because he felt that she needed to be, she needed a father. And he raised her like he was, she was his daughter. And when she was 12 or 13, she found, I mean, she looks just like Steven Tyler. She found out that Steven was really her father. And her and Steven have a good relationship, but she still considers Todd to be her father. And so she's got two fathers. I mean, you can't have enough love. You know what I'm saying? You got two fathers that are doing the right thing by you. You can't, you can't go wrong. Um, it's nice that somebody stepped up for the kid. And that's the same thing with you. If your stepfather did right by you, then good for you and good for him. Oh, good God, Con Con, that's crazy. Why would he say that? I was like, this is the dad that you'll meet when he walks me down the aisle and I'll choose him over here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And nobody's got to know. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nobody's business. Everybody's got it. Every, everybody's a, <laughs> everybody's an expert. Everyone's a critic. Ignore it. These. Carla, will I hear from Christian next week? We'll hear from him next week. Yes, Adonis, I think it's disrespectful too. And it's uncalled for. Really. The hell. New love, will my next meeting, how will my next meeting be with P? It's okay. Grounded, stable, down to earth, well balanced. Shirley, can I ask why is Joe distant in the bedroom? <sighs> Just may be like Might need a little bit of space or could be feeling like a little distant, like just needs time to himself or may feel a little bit overwhelmed or like just not really kind of like a little overwhelmed and not really feeling it at the moment. It, you just might need to give him a little bit of space and let things be the way they are without any pressure and see if that changes as we move into May. K 
KK, work reading for the next few months. Next two months look good. You've got um, new beginnings on the horizon and life comes into balance. You could get good news around work, school, or business that brings in more money. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Teamwork at work is favored and things move forward towards success. Looks pretty good. Kiss, general. You've got the world at your feet. You've got, listen to your intuition and life begins to move forward towards greater pastures and you may be planning travel, possibly a road trip. Old wounds heal and move into the past and you're no longer holding yourself back. Life moves forward. Making decisions that push your career forward this spring. Who here have I gotten to yet? Oh. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> yes, I remember Barney. This is funny. Well, Avery's oldest brother used to love Barney. Um, her dad told me that he had like, well, that's all he listened to when he was little. Um, but the funny story about Barney is my mom, my mom is a hairdresser. Her boyfriend at the time was also a hairdresser. I don't know where my aunt was. I don't know where she was. But whatever the circumstance was, my mom's boyfriend had to babysit my cousin, who at the time was like two. So they were in his car. Why were they in his car? I mean, they were, I guess they must have put the car seat in his car. I don't know. Anyway, they were in his car and she threw a fucking tantrum that he said that he was afraid that he was going to get pulled over. Like, like cops would think he was like hurting her. She threw a tantrum like you wouldn't believe because he didn't have the Barney soundtrack. And then she started reaching for the door handle like she wanted to open the door. <laughs> he said that she, like she was so mad at him, and I don't. I think that she just, like never liked him again after that. <laughs> Anyhow, freaking Barney. Liz, general for tomorrow. Negativity moves into the past. New beginnings are on the horizon. Old wounds heal. Um, you've got relief coming in around work, school, or business. Something happens around work, school, or business that's going to be nice. You might walk away from something or someone that no longer serves you. You have the world at your feet. Perseverance around work, school, or business brings in um, feeling better compensated and better respected around work, school, or business tomorrow. Not bad. Not bad. Essence left for me. Anything happening? You've got something happens in May that makes you happy with the sun. And it could be around a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Explore your options. Sean, will me and my poi? What's poi? 
All right, I need to know what poi is before I can answer that question. Lucky, what to expect for this week at work? Life comes into balance and you could have choices and options. Feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Feeling focused and ambitious. You'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. You have the world at your feet. Pretty good. And Jew general. Teamwork is favored around business and negativity moves into the past. You'll hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or you'll get some good news coming in. With the fool, you have a new journey on the horizon. A wish comes true. You could be spending time with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or possibly a Virgo. Listen to your intuition and life changes for you for the better quickly. Not bad. Rennie, love read. You will hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from. Or if you're not hoping to hear from anyone, if you're currently with someone, your current relationship communication picks up. Not with anyone. The Empress is bringing in love and money. Could be with an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It may be slow and steady wins the race, but new beginnings are on the horizon. That could be passionate and have long-term potential. Also could be with an Aquarius. Explore your options leads to success. If you're looking for a commitment uh, or a long-term long relationship, you could find yourself in one sometime before the end of... Uh, like the summertime, end of the summer. Jack, general for Kimon. For the... F um, What the hell? Hang on. New beginnings are on the horizon that leads to success around work, school, or business. And possibly a new business or job opportunity could be coming in. You've got a uh, cause for celebration that comes in around uh, having choices and options around social activity. Could be spending time with a Libra. You have money coming in. Old wounds heal and move into the past. A Leo enters. Negativity moves into the past. Listen to your intuition. If you're thinking about going back to school or learning a new area of study, you would be successful. Uh, Ella. Why did the landlord change the water bill company? Um, may have, and maybe like financial reasons, there may be a cheaper one or, um, yeah, it has something to do with finances, like better, something that's better financially. Where am I? Starfall for general? Old wounds heal and move into the past, and you could be planning travel. 
If you're thinking about going back to school or learning a new area of study, you'd be successful. No longer holding yourself back. Something nice may happen around the home, moving homes, changing homes, upgrading your home. If you've had an argument or a disagreement with someone, it should resolve itself and move into the past. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past, and so is negativity. Miriam, general from May. Looks good. You've got the six of pentacles, uh, six of cups is in reverse, which can indicate that you're not looking back on the past and life is moving forward with the two of wands. Listen to your intuition and you could have a love offer come in from a Leo if you're not with anyone right now. If you're with someone right now, your current relationship could be strengthening. Don't be afraid to lay down the law, set boundaries. It'll serve you well, express what you want and need around relationships and you'll be successful. A Taurus enters. Anxiety eases and moves into the past. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and life changes for you for the better quickly. Oh, POI is person of interest. Will you be in a committed relationship by the fall? Will, will we be in a committed relationship by the fall? Do you know his astrological sign or his initials? Gemini. see commitment here um but it might be i don't know where you guys are in this connection so it may be that you're just not there yet or that you don't know each other well enough but i'm not seeing i don't as of right now see commitment coming in let's see what happens oh shit what happened here this one's not working Tell me that that, oh, because the power strip is half plugged in. All right. Bella, is the landlord going to do something for my inconvenience? So, yeah, that's possible, but you might have to like express your grievances. So let them know that you're disappointed in something and yeah, they'll do something for you. I don't know I don't know exactly what it is, but it may be like money. It could be money wise. Dr. Sony, general reading for me around work. General reading for me around work. Lay down the law, set boundaries, it'll serve you well. You'll hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Listen to your intuition. Good news comes in that could lead to success that may be bringing in more money and teamwork is favored. GGG, what is Cancer's emotions towards me? Respectful, friendly, kind-hearted, stable. I would say the emotions look like a friendship or grounded and stable. Um, mutual respect, that's how it reads as of right now. Um, 
Mrs. H this coming week in love. Things look okay. If you're currently with someone, slow and steady wins the race, but it looks like a balanced, well-functioning week, and the relationship could be strengthening. If you're not with anyone, same thing. Balanced, slow week, but a Leo may be coming in. Alphonse, no contact from Lisa. Is she going to come back into my life as my girlfriend and eventually wife? Um, there is opportunity for you guys to reconnect at some point this summer. I can't tell you right now as of wife and girlfriend because I'm not seeing that come in. I don't see marriage here as of right now. But I think you should be reconnecting at some point before the summer or around the summer. Liz, love, general. You've got um, new beginnings on the horizon that could lead to success. You'll hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Things can move forward all of a sudden with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, possibly a Libra. Life comes into balance and things begin to move forward. You'll walk away from people, places, and things that you feel no longer serve you. Good days. Will Gemini or Aquarius ask me out the next time I see them? Possibly Gemini might, but uh, Aquarius looks a little stagnant. Is there anybody here I haven't answered for yet? Oh, you're welcome. Mary General. Old wounds heal and move into the past, and you have some money headed your way. Listen to your intuition. Life moves forward towards greener pastures. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. You may be adding a new stream of income, maybe a side business, side project, or side hustle. Plus, bitches, money for the rest of this month, trip on the 28th. Money looks okay. Feeling ambitious, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Money comes in, finances look all right. Feeling balanced and uh, down to earth. Things move forward towards greener pastures and you're headed towards the Ten Cups being full. Looks good. Looks good. Bless bitches. Love for the next three months. You have new beginnings on the horizon. Not looking back on the past, life moves forward. Empress is bringing in love and money and more of it. A wish comes true around love. You may have, um, you could have somebody from your past return, but you may turn them down and move forward with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But you'll come to that crossroads and it'll be your decision. You also have a wish come true and an Aquarius coming in. Shay, will David the Leo reach out first? Will David the Leo reach out first? Yes. And it should be soon. Payman, hey, what's Jay's impression or next action towards us? We had a nice conversation today. Uh, he thinks that the communication went well, like it seems like it was stable or down to earth. I don't see a whole lot of action here. There could be communication that comes in sometime maybe between now and the end of the week. But I don't see much more than that as of right now. Fuzzy, general. You have money coming in or finances may be improving as we move through the year. 
Being guided by the divine towards greater pastures a wish comes true. You could be planning travel. Old wounds heal and move into the past and so does anxiety. Sylvia, how does Leandria feel of our meeting since years? Like you haven't seen each other in a long time and you recently met up. Is that what, is that what the question is? Pretty good. May have felt like happy and content. May have thought that it went well, grounded and stable. Pretty good. Uh, like maybe catching up or like um, reconnecting. Nostalgic. Pretty good. Um, mystery, how my meeting go today. Meeting goes well. Negativity moves into the past. Listen to your intuition. With the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities and success comes in. Not bad. Blessed bitches, is the water sign from the past or a separate past person? Um, no, the person from the past wouldn't be the water sign. The water sign would be a new person. I mean, they both could be water signs. That's possible. I don't know the sign of the, the past person. Just somebody from the past. Sylvia, how does... Oh, I, I did that one. Um, fuzzy, I did. Um, Anthony, will T help me get a job in M Company? He is the friend of my dad's friend, and we don't know him direct. Okay, let's see. Well, it does look like his intentions are to help you because he's feeling perseverant, and he's got, like, feeling well-balanced and, like, you got good karma around it. So, yeah, I'm going to say he's going to he's gonna do what he can to help you. Yeah, you got a wish that comes true around the situation and an offer that may be hard to turn down. I think he will help you. Brent, a general from now until tomorrow. Disappointments heal and move into the past. You could hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Lay down the law, set boundaries. It'll serve you well. And you've got life coming into balance. You may be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, you haven't heard from him yet? I think that's okay. I think that he could still, he could still, I think he's still, his intentions are to help you if he can. Susie, general for next week. Next week looks okay. Feeling grounded and stable around finances. Anxiety eases and moves into the past. You've got a new journey on the horizon and you may be planning travel. Empress could be bringing in love and money or more of it. And you may be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or possibly an Aquarius or a Virgo. Not bad. sees next actions towards me. Communication. Communication comes in through text message soon. Quick communication. Stephanie was my identity stolen. It feels off. I don't think it was. Sylvia, what is Leandria? 
mean when she texted, I know you had a lot on your mind. Did I leave early when her boyfriend came home? Um, she may have felt like you were distracted or you had something like you have other, I don't know what you were talking about, but she may have feel like whatever's been going on in your life or whatever you were discussing is weighing heavy on you. You left early because the boyfriend came home, but she maybe thought that you left for another reason. Like maybe she thought you had a lot on your mind, so that's why you were leaving. Is there anybody here I haven't answered for yet? updated love reading for Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio could be feeling a little bit <clears throat> down and out or undecided about something. Maybe carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. They feel a little let down or disappointed. Um, but they will move forward. At some point, their life begins to move forward. <coughs> towards greener pastures. They have an earth sign around them, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and then they have a water sign around them. Not a water sign, a cancer around them. Things can move forward for them towards greener pastures. Maybe not until like late spring, early summer. Like, it's like almost like they're holding themselves back or they're taking time for themselves, which is fine. Um, it looks a little slow. It looks a little slow. Um, bless bitches. What can I expect this week? You could be feeling grounded and stable around finances improving or good news around money coming in. Something nice may happen around the home, moving homes, changing homes, upgrading your home. With the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities. Listen to your intuition. Empress is bringing in love and money or more of it. And you could have a Libra around. Not bad. Roxbury, duly wave current feel. Fake miss me recent days. All right, I don't know what your relationship is with this person, but they seem distant and disconnected. So I can't tell you that they're missing you or, um, yeah, it looks like there's distance between the two of you. May think that you're a nice person, you're grounded, you're stable, you're down to earth, you're pleasant to be around, but it seems like there is distant or distance between the two of you, or it's not something that they're actively thinking about as of right now. Anthony, is the food panda food delivery famous there? Food panda, I don't know. I never heard of it. I don't ever order food from like um, already made food. I only ever order um, like from Instacart, you know, because I'm such a great cook. <laughs> no, it's just because it's expensive to order takeout. Um so if I'm going to eat out, I'm usually out at the mall and I'll eat out when I'm out. But otherwise, if I'm home, like, I'll just make something here. That will be lousy, but I'll eat it. <laughs> Adonis, what does V want from me and our connection, if anything? Wants it to stay. Okay. Okay wants things to be grounded and stable and wants you always to be there but is not ready for total commitment yet but likes what you guys have so is kind of content does kind of feel like the two of you are sort of together likes that you're there but is not ready and it's not even that they don't want to commit because they want to date other people because that's not it. It's like, I just don't want to be super responsible right now. And I like to be able to come and go as I please. 
kind of feeling. You can always express your wants and needs around this situation because you have that card and you have this card and then you also have headed to the Ten Cups being full. So things are good or they will be improving even if in the moment it seems like things could be a little bit chaotic to say the least. Susie, love for next week. Something should happen next week that could be passionate and happy. Not bad. <laughs> Moving forward towards greener pastures, life comes into balance. Old wounds heal and move into the past and romance could heat up. Possibly with, um, well, you got a Leo here. Possibly with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Negativity moves into the past, making decisions that push life forward. Plus, you may hear from somebody you're hoping to hear from or have good communication come in next week. Oh, the cards that I showed you were the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups. So it would be like laying down the law, setting boundaries, expressing what I want in the relationship. Then I get the love offer that comes in that takes me to all ten cups being full. Kuchu, second and I had an argument before and now reconciled after seven months. What could happen next? Looks a little rocky because you've got strength in reverse. Six of Pentacles and the Lovers are both in reverse, and it be, could be causing, like, stress around the situation. I would say um, things, as, as you move forward, keep in mind that whatever it was that you guys fought about, that issue may resurface. Because it doesn't look like this is smooth sailing. It looks like it could be very rocky moving forward. I don't know what the argument was about, but... Valentine, reason Synaga G not reached out to me. Many work to do or holiday. Um has a lot to, going on in their life and they seem a little distant. If you want to speak to them, I would reach out to them. Butterfly A, love. Okay, you have new beginnings on the horizon, and you have a Leo coming in. If you're already with someone, your current relationship could be strengthening, and you're ready for it. If you're not with anyone with the magician. You have the ability to manifest new opportunities that bring in a Capricorn. A disappointment heals and moves into the past, and so does a Leo come in. Next relationship you enter should be well-balanced, grounded, and down-to-earth, and you'll get out of it what you put into it. Asia, general money. Um, general around money. You've got new beginnings on the horizon that could lead to a new stream of income coming in. Making a decision that pushes life forward that makes you feel a little bit more grounded and stable. Negativity moves into the past. Old wounds heal. Paying off a bill of debt or a loan is possible or setting money aside for something that could make you feel financially more stable and you're ready for it. I think you may be adding a new stream of income. Adonis, I'll pay after the stream. What's the expressing card? Doesn't be already know how I feel. Yes. Okay. Knows how you feel about them in the relationship or the situation, but might not, like you might need to at some point go over what you want or what you need for yourself. Yeah. Look, you got it again. Yeah, at some point, like, I don't think, I think you guys from time to time are going to talk about the situation, and that's good. That's good. Oh, 
Alyssa, when will Chris contact me? Mm, showing us the hangman. I'm not seeing communication come in as of right now. If you want to speak to him, I would reach out to him. Isabella, what A, the Pisces current deeper feelings? What A, the Pisces current deeper feeling? Can you rephrase that? Michaela, when do you see me seeing the Aquarius? Maybe sometime in the month of May, like maybe by mid-May, like around the 15th. Peggy Sue is SB in Kenton. Is SB in Kenton. I don't think that, uh, I know, I don't think SR is in Kenton. Isabella, what is A Pisces current feeling? Current feeling. This person may be feeling ambitious and successful around work, school, or business. They're very perseverant or they're stepping into their strength and their um, independence and they're persevering around work, school, or business. They've got the magician here, which is the ability to manifest new opportunities and they're focused on their life moving forward. They've got choices and options that are helping life move forward around social activity. They could be feeling like spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and they may be excited about planning travel or they may be focusing on a road trip or planning a road trip. Um, Adonis, this one too, is V satisfied with this or do they want more? Because it sounds like they are, but not open to dating me or anyone. It's also silent for us, so I feel, which is, I think, problematic in the long run. And impossible for us to date if it's constantly quiet. Yeah, I agree. But I think that by the time you get to that point, communication will have picked up. Okay, so the way that it shows right now, it looks like there is opportunity for commitment to come in here. It may not be immediately, it may be a little bit down the line, but are they content with the way things are right now? A little bit because they feel as if they're in control and they like that. Not because they're trying to be cruel or mean, although sometimes I don't know that they take your feelings into consideration 100%, but... That's not here nor there. Like they, they, they like what's going on right now, but they do want more, but they kind of almost feel like they have what they want and they're in control of it. So it's almost like I'm not going to fix what's bro not broken in a way. Communication will pick up and things have the opportunity to move forward towards commitment. But, and I've always said it, you may come to a crossroads where you decide that you've had enough and you want to go in a different direction. I don't think you're there yet. And I think it's going to be your decision regardless. So you could be really fired up and pissed off and, hey, I'm not going back to V. And then all of a sudden you may change your mind and decide to. Like you have that opportunity coming in. But I do think that things are going to move forward and that the silence will not continue. Like this weirdness that's going on right now is not going to continue. At some point it changes. I'm just not sure how soon that is. And what could happen for you in the meantime? Because situations like this, a lot of the times what happens is the person that has the control of the situation has the control of the situation until they don't, right? It's like everything could be, you know, like, like my Aquarius. He was in control of the situation, in control of the situation, in control of the situation for years and years and years. And then all of a sudden, one day, boom, something changed. And when that changed, for me, I couldn't go back. Um, that may be different for you. But it's like when the person that's in control all of a sudden loses control, they're the one that has the hard time with it. So I think it's going to be it's going to be your choice, even though you have, you're not there yet. It's not there yet. 
Anyway. I'll ribble what is coming towards me in love. You've got new beginnings here. Air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, possibly Sagittarius. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Choices and options could come in out of the clear blue sky when you least expect it. And things could move forward towards greener pastures pretty quickly. Um, Nashville, feelings and intentions of Aquarius. At this point, Aquarius looks a little bit distant. And they don't seem to have any specific intentions. I don't know where you guys are in this relationship, but it looks like there's distance or um, like they're emotionally sh a little shut down. Yeah, uh, like not much is changing for the better quickly or like the situation or relationship has weakened. Uh, what I would say here, because you got the Ace of Swords, express your wants and needs around the situation and see if you move forward after that. Emin, any love coming in? Yeah, you could have a water sign coming in, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, somewhere towards like the summertime, maybe mid to late summer, and a wish could come true. Explore your options could lead to success. Through divine timing, early fall, you could have an earth sign come in, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Jazz, Capricorn's current energy towards me. Grounded, stable, um, kind of neutral. I don't know where you guys are in this relationship. It looks a little distant. Adonis, I still have feelings and everything, but I don't like where it's been going. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And that's why I think that at some point something could change for you. Samantha, is Pellegrino going to reach out to me soon? I would say you may hear from this person before the end of this month. Top flight. Why did Steph invite me to hang out with them? <laughs> Right? I don't know how well you know this person, but it's like feeling grounded and stable, down to earth. Uh, may think that you're a nice person, kind-hearted, um, like interesting, and may have wanted to either get to know you better or spend time with you. Looks positive. Missy, is Christopher interested in something with me? What would it take to move forward? Uh, this person shows as undecided. So I don't know if that's because that it's just not something they thought about yet or it's because they really don't know. But I think things could move forward if you uh, express your wants and needs or how you feel. And I would try to see if you can get communication to pick up and take it from there. Adonis, because I feel it's too uncertain at this point. I don't know what Aquarius really wants. I'm just basing it off. Yes, I know. I know. Well, it is uncertain, and it's kind of all over the place. That's why I think at some point something may show up that changes your mind about the situation. But it hasn't happened yet. We're not there yet. Catherine, does S. Godema realize that we have connection and he improve our connection in April and May? And no, um, the situation looks as if it's unbalanced. So you may want more from the situation than he wants. Like you feel like there's a connection between you and this person, but he doesn't seem to be putting in much effort. So I can't tell you that he's feeling the same way. It reads like this relationship is out of balance. I don't know where you guys are in the relationship, but you may not be on the same page. Tisha, love reading for Garcia and I for spring. Situation looks slow. Knight of Pentacles. 
um, and that's going to continue this spring. So I don't know where you guys are in this relationship. If you're currently in a relationship and it's well-functioning, it will continue the way it is. If you're not in a relationship, that's going to continue the way it is. Uh, not much is changing this spring. Things seem to continue the way they are through the spring. Um, Adana, so even whatever Tarot has said, I still disregard it because of its predictions. V has not really shown much emotion or such towards me as of the past few months. But since maybe December, the cards have been showing love. Crossroads in really a long time now. I don't think another person will show up for the crossroads to happen. I think it will just be something that could happen in further time. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, but even if V doesn't express like love or emotions, just the fact that the situation and the connection is still continuing. If there was no connection there, like there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be any connection. You know what I mean? Like you don't speak to somebody and do the things that you guys do if you don't have a connection with them, especially when you're not like, you know, it's, it's just, it's a different situation. You know, it's like if you don't have any connection to somebody and you don't want anything from them, you don't carry on a, 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 a long-term relationship with them. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's like the same thing with the Aquarius I was with. He used to tell me all the time how we're not married. I don't have to answer to you. No, you don't, but you're here. <laughs> like, why are you here? You know what I'm saying? It's like you can stand in front of me how many times and tell me that we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to be together. And I used to hear that. But then it's like that would be on Tuesday. And then Friday he was singing a different tune. So you kind of have to go by the actions, even though the words, you know, it's twisted, right? Because usually it's the opposite. We're hearing how much somebody is, Oh, but I love you and I want to be with you and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then nothing happens. It's like, yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to get together. And then nobody calls. This is the opposite. This is we're not together. I don't want to see you anymore. But yet I'm seeing you. <laughs> like I'm never going to talk to you again, but then I'm calling you on Tuesday. You, you know what I mean? It's backwards. So it's confusing. <clears throat> um... Eric, what did Troy see? Why did Troy see block me on Instagram? Because of a Chicago Cubs incident that occurred in 2003. Claiming I was stubborn, yet I find it petty in what he did. Oh, my God. That is very, that is very petty. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think it has to do with whatever happened in 2003. I mean, you can't let it go. <laughs> you know what? Don't let it bother you because you know what? It just shows you the, his level of maturity. Um, he claimed that you were stubborn, yet I think that he's being pretty stubborn. But, you know, that could be very typical of somebody accusing somebody, somebody, of, somebody accusing someone of being what they are. Yeah, I don't let it bother you. It's, it's not worth it. Thank you. Uh, Peyton, what does my week look like? Uh, making decisions that push life forward. You could have some money coming in. Solution to a problem is in front of you before the end of the week. You'll figure it out. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past and life is moving forward. And you could feel relief around work, school, or business. Not bad. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. I didn't do anything in 2003 it has to do with Steve Bartman. So what happened? Did you take somebody's side or, uh, or, um, yeah, I don't know. Did you side with the wrong person? I don't know. It seems like it's, first of all, it's 20 years ago. Like, forget about it. Let it go. Like you got to block me today because it's something that happened 20 years ago. Donis, I feel so confused. 
I trust tarot, but we cannot base everything. No, I agree. So I always base after how I feel after it. If I do leave V, I won't come back for good. I did it too. I left axes and have not come back to any of them since. Yeah, once my feelings change, I can't go back. I don't even open the door. I leave it shut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're going through it, you don't ever see. But you don't see a way out when you're going through it. And for me, when I was in this situation, woman that reads my cards used to always say to me, it's going to be your choice. You're going to come to it. You're going to have a choice. And I swear, in my mind, what I this is what I thought. This was what I thought my choice was going to be. Aquarius was going to come forward like on a white horse, knight in shining armor, and then there was going to be a, his competition, maybe on a bigger white horse in shinier armor. I don't know. In my head, I thought I was going to have two different men who both wanted to be with me, and I was going to have to choose. I'm going to be with Aquarius or the new person, and that's not how it happened, but she was right. It was my choice. The way it happened was something happened to that was like, you talk about the universe, right? When the universe wants you to know something, it just throws it out there. And so I'd seen something that was, it was just enough for me to say, fuck it, I'm done with this. And I really meant it. And I didn't even cry. Like there have been so many times that I cried over that situation and was hurt and disgusted and couldn't eat and felt sick. And then at this point, it was like this day, whatever happened, it's almost like I was hit with a bolt of lightning. And I was like, I'm done with this. I'm just fucking done. And I'm going to say that that was, I know that I know exactly when it was. It was April 30th because it was a, one of my friend's birthdays and I had just gotten off the phone with him wishing him happy birthday when the event occurred and I don't believe after that happened I don't think that I saw him until November of that year so that was April so like six months later and when I saw him in November it was probably around Thanksgiving because oddly enough when holidays came around he always showed up I don't know why but he always did anyhow I think it was probably Thanksgiving weekend and um, I just didn't feel the same anymore. Like I had just gotten over it. it. It just wasn't the same. And that was it. And then that was, and then I can't remember if that was, it was either a year and a half before I met Avery's dad or it was two and a half years. Maybe it was a year and a half, but it was a long time. It was a long time. And I just, I, I had nothing going on and I refused to think about him. When he popped into my head, I've just changed it. I just got busy doing something else. And I was like, I'm not, I can't, I'm done with it. And I did come to the crossroads, right? It was my decision because since then, since that, which was a long time ago, I, I don't know, over 10 years ago, I, um, He's tried to, like, come and see me. I mean, I've seen him. You know, like, we've gone for a walk together, but... Anyway. Anyway, the point being is, is that the crossroads that I got was not the crossroads that I had in my head. And I never thought that my life would move forward with anybody else, and it did. So that's, that's the, the, uh, what I'm getting at. Yeah, you got your limits, right? I know, and that's so shitty because it feels like, you know, you got to come to a, a crossroads where it's like, I'm tired of being beaten up, so I'm just going to, like, hide out by myself. <laughs> like, that's a shitty crossroads. <laughs> like, can we have something better happen, please? Same thing with friends. Yes, Adonis, I feel the same way. Oh, my God, Eric, he wanted you to be a White Sox fan, so that's why he's not friends with you. <laughs> that's so funny. Flaviana was coming to me in love. <laughs> you have growth, change, and transformation that comes in and around love. You have happiness that comes in when life moves forward. You'll have choices and options. 
Walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and a new beginning can be on the horizon with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or possibly a Scorpio. Sun and Moon, missing DW. When will he reach out to reconnect? Showing is the hangman, and there's negativity around the situation. I'm not seeing him reach out. If you want to hear from him, I would reach out to him and not wait. Vartika, person SH is energy towards me. Okay, kind-hearted, stable, down-to-earth, pleasant, sincere. Repanty for today. Um, for today, you've got, listen to your intuition and success comes in around work, school, or business, feeling focused or ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. You could hear from somebody you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Adonis, I don't mean to be an asshole to be, you are not an asshole. They're much older than me and I think... You know what I mean. So the whole responsibility thing, bullshit. Yeah, you're, you're, listen, you're not an asshole. You've been putting up with it for a long time. Ladybug, why did I dream of my doorknob turning and starting to open? It was scary. That is scary. I just think it's fear. Old fears that are being, are coming out in your, from your subconscious and the, dream state. I don't think it's anything more than that. Couldn't hurt to sage the place, though. Hi, Brolic. Anybody else here I have an answer for? Tara. For who? For Tara. Tara? Yeah. We don't have a Tara in the room. No, we don't. We've got Essence, Sun and Moon, Vartika, Mel, Adonis, Essence, Ripandi, Ladybug. I don't see any Taras. Essence, have you ever had a lucid dream? Yes, I have. I can't make myself do it, though. Oh, my God. That's so weird. She, the lady stopped and told That's so weird. <laughs> Bro, like intellectual development. Slow and steady wins the race, but things are moving forward on solid ground. You might be joining a, I don't know, a group, a club, something, where you're meeting like-minded people that may be, like, maybe having intellectual discussions, or you may be going to seminars, whatever it is. Listen to your intuition, and things move forward towards greater pastures with a wish come true around a new beginning that could lead you towards success. Pretty good. So every time I see the card of not wanting to be responsible is ready, is already immaturity to me. But sadly, that's just me. Wait, every time you see the card of not wanting, now you feel like it's immaturity. Yeah, that could be. Very crazy. I'm curious if you want to try it more. She low key looked dead. I had to leave her there. Good. No contact since Wednesday. You've been sad. Yeah, I think you're going to hear from her, Alphonse. I don't know how to make the lucid dreaming happen, but I know it happened to me once, too. I was like, I don't know if I was like flying over a city, and it almost looked like it was like miniature, like it was like dollhouses, and I knew that I was dreaming. It was very weird. Brooklyn, general love for this week. Things look a little slow this week. You may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from, and you could be spending time possibly with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but the week looks a little slow when it comes to love. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, but probably not until tomorrow afternoon because I have to teach in the morning. So I probably, I'm not going to be home probably until almost 11. Thank you all very much for being here. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. Is there one more there?
Is it possible to expand upon negativity around the situation? We've always been good to one another. Um, what uh, What is the situation? What's the, oh, the the situation with the person that you're, you're not speaking with? I'm going to go to the back room. Okay, is the light on in there? I don't think so. You must come. Okay, okay, go. Go. Terminal circumstances created distance between D and I. Okay, so that may be why there's no communication coming in. Oh, here's the cup. Oh, thank you. Uh, you went in the bathroom. I left it in the bathroom, yeah. Yeah, see, things are stuck. So whatever the circumstances are that's uh, caused the two of you to be distant, that's going to continue. I don't know. I don't know what, what this relationship is. But if you want to speak to him, I would reach out to him and not wait on him. Mommy, I just sit. I just sit here. Okay. But not to bother you. Oh, you're not gonna bother me. Kick on that side. No, I'm almost done. So just sit right there. No. Then we're gonna go to bed. Right over there. Can I get out of there? Dude, that's not no space. Avery, I am not I'm not gonna be in here much longer. We can go out to the side. Avery. Avery, what did I tell you about arguing with me? I'm going to sit. Sit down right there. Um LA, is Charles the Taurus still married? Okay. I just want to pull that eye out. I just want to pull that eye out. To pull that eye out. But, then said, I can turn it off. No. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Adonis, me and Aquarius, okay. Gently, okay? Put it back to the other. It was a bad drop, okay? Okay. Uh, you do have communication comes in and a wish comes true. Listen to your intuition. With the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities around this situation that may make you feel more stable and successful. New beginnings are on the horizon that could lead to greener pastures. You may be seeing each other and speaking a little bit more as we move through the rest of the uh, spring. Is there anyone else here I haven't answered for? Don't rip that up. No. Tammy, why did my mother appear in front of me when I came home? shows protection and guidance. I don't know. I don't know all the details of the situation. Protection and guidance. New beginnings are on the horizon. Listen to your intuition. Don't be afraid to communicate your wants and needs around a certain situation or a specific situation.
sun and moon, what would be the outcome if I reached out to D? Huh. Um, it would be slow. So I don't know if you reach out, you may not hear back right away or it could take some time. Listen to your intuition. If you feel like reaching out, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. It just depends what your expectations are. Uh, Cyrus, what are you doing? You're going to try to take that toilet paper and rip it up? Because we're not going to let that happen. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a step ahead of you. I know you're trying to pull a scam. <laughs> I don't want you to rip up that toilet paper. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Start this. Okay, okay, good boy. Mommy, has the ball. I know, he's trashing the place. He's trying to get that toilet paper. <coughs> no! <laughs> Cyrus. Get that back to your Don't mama. rip that up. Don't rip that up, you badass. <laughs> oh, shh, don't say that word. Don't rip that up. Avery, don't use bad language. He's just standing there with it. I think he wants you to chase after him. I'm not chasing after you, Cyrus. I'm just saying I didn't either. See, look, he's going to come back now and show you he's got it. He's, try he's trying to make us chase him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Cyrus? Something you're not supposed to have? He's like, look, he's like, I'm taking it. He's like, you see what I got? <laughs> Aurelia, why are my son's father Soren's intentions towards our son? He lives in a different country, has a new family, and emails me twice a year. Stop, 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 stop. Avery, give it to him because I can't have this right now. Uh, it doesn't look like he has specific intentions, although he does seem to feel bad from time to time for the way that he is maybe like not around or doesn't put in a whole lot of effort. Like it may be something that he doesn't know how to fix and he does feel bad about it. But I don't know that he's going to do much about that. Like, he just may continue emailing you twice a year. And, like, <laughs> living with himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you just recently hear from him? <laughs> Vartika, I answered for you already. Tanya, romance. Listen to your intuition and a wish comes true. Possibly with a... Sagittarius. Anxiety eases and moves into the past and new beginnings are on the horizon that could lead to success. You also have a uh, Virgo here. Uh, but I think things could heat up with Sagittarius. Oh, he did reach out for your son's birthday. He may, he may be feeling bad even though like, you don't see much from him. He could be like on the inside kind of have be carrying a lot of guilt for whatever has happened or whatever hasn't happened kind of a thing. He messages on Christmas and birthday. So sad. So sad, This guy will be sad. Well, he is feeling bad, which is a good thing. Maybe at some point things will change. But as of right now, I don't see all that much changing. This is the last Maybe my bad people a bit. Baby, baby. Tanya, my intuition baby. may tell you she never listens to us. We keep telling her. Baby. Bobby. This looks so cute. 
cute. What? This looks so cute. That guy's cute? He looks like Santa Claus? And, and he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. That was so cute, Bob. That was really cute. It's but, very cute. Yeah, I love the mouth. I love his cute face. <laughs> My intuition may tell you that she never listens to us. We keep telling her. Wait, who never listens to us? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, who? <laughs> I don't know who. This is supposed to do. Who doesn't listen to us? Nobody listens. No. I don't know why. Nobody listens. Nobody looks at the red flags. Everybody just keeps going right for the wall. And then when they hit it, they're like, what happened? How come I didn't see this coming? <laughs> oh, I never, what? yeah. Baby. I know, there was baby. a situation baby. that I was in once baby. where. Baby, just a try, baby. Oh, okay. Where I was seeing red flags. I really was. And I was like, nah. Baby. <laughs> and it's funny because I didn't even realize baby. that I was doing that. And then one of my friends said that she was doing it. She's like, you know, I'm going out with this guy and I'm thinking, red flag, red flag, nah. I'm like, oh, damn. I'm like, I've done that. You ever watch uh, Lee Hammock when he pulls out the red flag? A mental illness? The narcissist guy, he has a serious called waving the red flag. <laughs> And he pulls out a little red flag and he waves it. <laughs> so honest, I still feel like me and me could date. But I don't know. I have those moments where I'm upset at me and then it washes. Yes. I went through that. I know exactly how you feel. Like, okay, well, you do have opportunity to date at some point. Because you have the Empress and the Two of Cups plus the Ace of Wands. But I went through that, too, where I felt like, you know, like it could be, I don't know, say, say I reached out and never got in touch with him over the weekend. Like, I would be pissed off, like, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but by the time Thursday hit, I wasn't mad anymore, and I was just hoping I would hear from him. I get it, because a lot of it, I think, goes into that. You know how they say, there's a couple of things. The trauma bond that gets built by the reward that when you reach out to somebody and they don't answer you, you get addicted to the times that they do answer you. It's so it's so sad. It's so sad to me. But I understand it now having lived through it. That you become like you like you're looking for the reward. And I totally get it because I lived through the situation. It doesn't mean that it, like your situation doesn't have to end the way mine did just because that's how mine ended. I think that you will have the opportunity, but you might come to a crossroads and you may have to make the decision. But you can't make the decision until you get there. There's somebody who I've been reading for for a while and... She's had a situation where she was dating somebody and, you know, he was okay, but he was kind of like one foot in, one foot out kind of a thing, but he was all right. And then, like, I don't know, they didn't see each other for a while, not because anything terrible happened. They just didn't see any, each other. And she met somebody who was actually, like, front and center. And now the first guy is like, <laughs> he's looking to, you know, like, hey, well, what about me? And meanwhile, you know. And it went on a long time. I mean, I know that like my my record eight years was a long time with my Aquarius. I know you've been in this a while. Hers wasn't as long, but it's still it's long when you live through it. Shh, stop, both of you, stop. Tanya, I'm always like call Sagittarius, eat popcorn, watch a movie. <laughs> the movie wins. Yeah. Sorry, stop ripping that up. Adonis, by the way, not my question. Like right now, I'm having one. But I don't know. The time is dicey. Ow. I don't know if it could be long term. Cards have said, yeah, I do think that there is potential for long term. But it already is long term. You know, like just because, like, you don't call each other. Uh, significant other or whatever or in a relationship doesn't mean that the relationship's not long-term and significant. 
that was an argument that I, I used to have all the time with the woman that reads my cards because she used to say to me, oh, this is such a, like, shove it right up your ass. She used to say to me, um, just because, uh, and she used to say, I don't see him leaving your life. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be with him. She said, oh, he could be the godfather to your children, which really frosted my ass at the time. Because then it made me feel like him and I weren't going to end up together. And we didn't end up together, so she was right. Avery's not been baptized. She doesn't have a godfather, but that's not the point. The, but he does, he has, he does see Avery, and he has been around. And Avery knows who he is because he's still my friend. But I don't see him that often. But as a person, as a human, I love him. As a friend, I think he's funny. He's got a great personality. But when that ship sailed that day, that ship sailed. And it went like full throttle. And it was like not turning back. Girl, wake up. Will the energy coordinator or Katie be best area to move? Energy corridor. They both look good. If I had to choose one yeah. location over the other, I would go with Katie. Hey, get out of here, both of you, because you're driving me nuts. He's climbing all over me, ripping up toilet paper, and you're ruining my stuff. Do not go in this. This is not for you to touch. I told you that. I tell you that all the time. This is mine. You don't touch it. Okay, well, go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. You got to go to bed. I can see the That is my actual question. Is if we still wanted to date you or are willing to date me if I bring it up or something, how do you see that? To be honest, I'm stubborn too. Part of the situation is my fault. Okay. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't bring it up. Um, but I'm only getting like a 33% chance that they would say yes at this point. Here's the twisted thing. It could also depend on their mood. So it could be that if you catch them in the right mood, that may change. All right, everybody out of here. Out, out, out. Both of you out. You're driving me nuts. Out, 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 out. Okay, well, I, well, I can't have you in here tearing the place up. Okay? Okay, I'm very sorry, but next time you'll listen to me. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm wrapping it up. All right, I'm going to wrap it up because it's too much going on here right now. I'm sorry. No, I can't. I, Avery, it's too much. I'm sorry. You're not, don't tell me that you're sorry, okay? Just forget about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't wrap it up. Yeah, you know, because you, but it's similar with me because think about it. Like, if that Aquarius would have texted me on Monday when I was pissed off, I may have reacted differently than I would on Thursday. Right? Because it's where you are in your mood. You, you know, I would get just as pissed off and I, I would be like, oh, fuck it, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Fuck it, fuck it. And then I would go right back and I would see him again and the same bullshit would happen. All right, I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll be back on tomorrow in the afternoon, probably, I don't know, in the afternoon, because I'm teaching in the morning. Thank you all very much for being here. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.